hey everyone welcome back to my channel and today i will be showing you how to set up a 100% free vpn on kali linux using open vpn so let's first understand uh, why we are using a vpn on kali or any system that we are you know we are practicing hacking and penetration testing so the first reason that should come to your mind is privacy as your data or uh, a VPN masks your real IP address, making your location and identity harder to trace. Okay, so it makes your it masks your IP, which means that uh, if you are connecting to any other service on the internet, uh, your real IP uh, will not be shown. Okay, so it uh, it will show a masked IP. So if I go to this website and open my Firefox here and if I go to the website what is my IP okay you can check it out here what is my IP address and, and you, I will be using uh, you know a VPN to mask this IP it also ensures the security of your data uh, as your data is encrypted which protects you from packet sniffers especially on public Wi-Fi systems okay or public Wi-Fi networks and and the most important thing that as a as a hacker or as a penetration tester you need is you need to be anonymous right uh, you need to be anonymous you mean you should maintain your anonymity and for this VPN is a must I guess so yeah we will be setting up using a, a framework that's on Kali which is open VPN okay open vpn as you can see that open vpn is highlighted in blue in my terminal which means uh, it's installed in my system in case it is not installed in your system then you just type it open vpn then if you hit enter okay uh, it will ask you if you want to install it or not then uh, go with yes and install it since i already have it i won't be installing it now but I need to install a configuration file for this open VPN so I will go to my Firefox here I will type VPN book okay I will go to this first link here vpnbook.com I will scroll down scroll down and here you can see it's written over here open VPN I will click on here and as you can see let me enlarge it a bit so as you can clearly see it okay so we can see many servers here you can choose any one of the following okay I will choose this server it will okay wait I will wait okay it is completed I will open this folder let me minimize this okay so I will open a terminal here okay okay so as you can see I have this zip file over here so first I need to extract this zip file so I will extract it here extract here okay the zip file is extracted I will minimize this I will go to my terminal again type ls and as you can see that uh, the the zip file which is this is extracted in this folder so I will ls into this so VPN book okay okay sorry I want to change my directory to this so not ls I will do cd which is which stands for change uh, directory so yeah if I do ls now I can see many configuration files okay you can see UDP here UDP here TCP TCP 443 which is HTTPS it's HTTP so you can choose any one of the following here I can go with okay I can go with this or this so first of all let's go with this okay so I will type open VPN that's a very simple command to go with config okay then you need to type this so I will copy it from here wait a second copy selection and hit enter okay it asks me for the username so where is the username you will find the username 
if you scroll down here it's vpn book and the password is this okay you can't copy the password so you should remember it or write it down in your notepad okay so let me do this okay so the username is vpn book hit enter and i have to type authentication password so this is zm396a4 so zm396 a4 hit enter and it has exited due to a fatal error so you could encounter this fatal error during this process okay so let me clear the terminal so what's uh, so how can you fix this error so either you can do first you can enter the root terminal okay so i am in my root terminal and you can then wait a minute okay then you can uh, apply the same command that is open vpn dash dash config and hey this is the file okay so yeah if you hit enter it will ask it will ask me for the username vpn book and i don't remember the password so i need to see it again zm396 a4 hit enter and i guess okay so we we are connected as you can see vpn ip and we are connected to the vpn you can also encounter an error so let's check if we are actually connected or not i will uh, uh what i was saying is uh, i will tell you how to fix the error if you still encounter it after this sudo thing okay if we enter the root terminal and all this uh, as you can see it has worked for me so i will also tell you if uh, after even after entering the root terminal and this doesn't work out okay this gives you a error again so how can you fix it i will tell you later so first first let me check if my public ip is changed or not so i uh, basically i'm checking if i'm connected to the vpn or not okay so i will go to the site what is my ip okay we as you can see i am connected as you can see that it's so let me first okay i need to translate this into some other language into english okay so i will translate just give me a second guys i need to figure this out while i'm translating okay so yeah it's translating it will take a second i guess okay i guess let's wait for a minute as you can see it's translating still so let's just continue to the site i will see my ip and then exit it so wait for a second So yeah, after a long time, I have successfully, you know, made it in to this website. And as you can see, this is the IPv4 address and it's changed. This is my IPv4 address now. And previously it was something, I guess, 122 dot something, something. So as you can see, it is changed. And you can tell from my browser also that it is changed. I have, uh, you know, as you can see, I have applied a French server okay i have downloaded the french server server configuration file so it has changed so now if you still encounter the error okay after this uh, root terminal after entering the root terminal and executing the command so what you will do so that's very simple so first of all ls and since i i this configuration file work for me i will demonstrate it to you using this configuration file okay so first of all you have to type nano 
okay then you have to type the config you have to choose the configuration file that you want so let's me choose this it was this okay hit enter and you can see here redirect gateway okay so you have to come down to here and hit enter here okay not the, not here wait a minute somewhat here okay so yeah so what you have to type it in here is tls hyphen okay then cipher okay then give a space then double quotes then uh, in capital letters default okay then a colon then at the rate sec level okay equals to zero then close the quotation and then you should uh, you can do control plus o to save hit enter then you can do control plus x to exit okay so you are good to go uh, this should fix your errors if you are still encountering the error after entering the root terminal and executing the command okay the thing that i showed you after all this is uh, if you still encounter the error after entering the root terminal and you and uh, you can't set up your vpn and all that okay so yeah this is it for it uh, so this is for today and yeah you should do one thing okay i close my this firefox so what you what you should do is you should uh, create a empty file okay let us say it to be vpn creds which stands for vpn credentials that doesn't matter you can name it anything okay so here is it open it and you can store your vpn credentials in this file so that you don't forget them okay so yeah that's it for today and if you liked the video then please subscribe to my channel and also hit a like on this video and you can check out my other videos on this channel only which are on nmap and ethical android hacking which is android penetration testing and even advanced nmap scans in which i have taught how to you know how to exploit metasploitable okay using ftp and apache vulnerabilities and you can learn all that from those videos and i have uploaded these videos on this channel only so yeah please give them a view and if you like them also please uh, give a like on those videos also and please do subscribe to my channel if you are new and till then take care and goodbye i will meet you in the next video